What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. This week has been all about how to get clients excited, interested and committed to the long-term future with you. And we started off on Monday with Simon coming on to explain how he's got this set up in his own fitness business, including putting different activities on, getting people to book in for sessions and all kinds of different things. So it's definitely one to go and check out if you need to get more engaged clients, clients who's gonna stay with you for a little bit longer. Then on Tuesday, I gave you the four things that we were doing right here at DK9 Fitness. On Wednesday, we looked at what was working. On Thursday, we gave a foundational thing to really set clients in motion so they've got a long-term plan with you. And you'll get a new prospect excited about the results that you can potentially get them. Today, though, something slightly different. But before we do dive into today's episode, if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, make sure you do that by clicking that big red button below. By subscribing, you'll always be up to date and you'll never miss what's working when it comes to marketing your fitness business. Okay, something we talked about with Simon on Monday was the fact that clients have got so much actually going on in their life right now. Do they really want a load of additional sessions? Do they want you to be checking in consistently with them and getting on top of them, especially because maybe they're working from home, they're living from home, there's nothing else they can do because they're stuck in their home. So we have to be careful about some of this stuff. Like one of the things we talked about this week was try not to DM clients rather than to tag them in posts. Because if you end up DMing clients or messaging clients privately, that might be a reason or a chance for them to potentially get out to say, you know what, I've been struggling recently, I think it's come to the end of my time with you, um, I'm then going to now hand in my notice. Whereas if you are tagging them in posts in the Facebook group, that's letting them know that you're still thinking about them and that you're tagging them to show them interesting stuff and a chance for them to react to that, la to that tag, comment a bit more, find out a little bit more and kind of join me with what's going on in the group. After all, the aim of the group, the aim of your community is to really build that foundation, to build that strong connection so they all get to know each other, they're all holding each other accountable and they're all pushing each other forward and they also don't want to miss out on what you have coming up. So something massively we did talk about as well was booking sessions in, okay? By getting them to commit, tagging them in those posts and also getting them to actually have to book in for sessions themselves, that way then they have to pencil out a time in their calendar to really find the time to work out. So if you've got a 6 a.m. session, a 10 a.m. session, a 3 o'clock and a 6 p.m. and you say you have to book in, you don't just turn up if you feel like it, you have to book in, bookings close an hour before, two hours before or something, it forces them then to have to stop what they're doing, find the time, tick themselves off that they're definitely in for that session and turn up. This means they are actually going to get better results because they're not just kind of playing it by ear, thinking, oh, you know what, the kids are playing up. I don't have time to do a session today. I'll rather just not do one. But if you're getting them to commit and book, that's them straight in. Next we want to talk about is what we talked about yesterday was goal setting or was it Thursday we talked or Wednesday? It might have been. So goal setting is key, okay, because now like I said we're stuck at home. There's so much going on. They're not thinking about their health and fitness goals right now. Maybe they're thinking about keeping hold of their job. Maybe they're thinking about having to home tutor the children. Maybe they're thinking about uh, the arguments that they've been having with their family because they're always on top of each other. There's so much going on, okay? So the health and fitness might be at the back of their mind. And this is something that's then thinking, when's the next payment due to come out? You know what, I'll hand in my notice beforehand. So if you can step in and start getting them goal setting what they want now between now when lockdown ends and when lockdown ends until like the next couple of months down the line. So if you set them like a three month goal, a 90 day goal that goes from lockdown to the transition of the gym opening to continuing this thing into the gym, it's going to really get them refocused again. So with doing that and booking sessions in, you really are going to get them back on track and they're going to start to remember what it was like, why they initially came to you. And that's what we talked about yesterday, was getting them to record the success story reviews. Now this is massive, okay, because getting them to do this this gets them back in their mind what it was like before they actually started working with you, what life was like, what the health and fitness was like, maybe why they were really struggling, and then why they actually came to you, what you were able to give them, the results, the, uh, the motivation, the extra um, oomph to be able to do the stuff that they want. Plus, it's also reminding the results that you actually got for them, okay, how their life has changed since they've been working with you. 
so by goal setting and getting them to give you that video review it's going to trigger all kinds of different emotions that's going to make them want to stay with you for longer stay with you throughout this lockdown and stay with you wanting to move in when you transition back into when you can do face-to-face -face stuff again so I hope this week has given you an eye opening into different things that different fitness businesses are doing right here in the UK and around the world and around the world to keep the clients engaged motivated and most of all not wanting to leave I'm going to leave it there for this week. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that by clicking that big red button below. Plus also, if you want to check out some of the other videos from this week, make sure you do click these videos by here. Until next week, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.